what's going on? David Baxter with Curbside Appeal, putting waste in its place. Hey, it's uh, late Monday evening. Well, not late, but it's evening time, about 5.30 right now. Um, I'm winding the day down. So today's video is just me talking. Um, I did have two jobs this morning that I didn't finish, but I worked on. Um, I had a storage job. I did a little bit, just kind of, I've been kind of nitpicking at it. Um, and then I had a job at an apartment complex um, where they have a fenced-in area for their residents to book their bulk, bulk items. So what had happened was I took both of those jobs. They, they were major jobs. Um, I bit a little bit more than I could handle and more than I could bite. Um, I didn't really have the manpower to handle both jobs at the same time. So um, I got a little bit overwhelmed. So I kind of had to call for backup. And um, I got to give a major, major shout out. First off, I'm gonna give a shout out to my boys, Red and Jarrell. They, they really, and then my boy, Caleb, they really helped me out to do what we've done so far on those two jobs. But I got to the point where it was getting a little bit over over my head so um i called cause for some big muscles i called um mr willie duncan with treasure drunk llc here in montgomery alabama and then i um, also called um my homeboy jacoby smith with jaws world llc those guys are amazing guys um mr willie duncan he's been doing the junk removal thing for a while um i've been watching him even before i really started picking up I was watching him on Facebook and still watching him on Facebook and seeing what he's doing. He's making moves all over Alabama. So um, I had to call him on the job at the apartment um, because like I said, it was just getting over my head. It was a little bit too much. Um, and I didn't really have the, the manpower to get the job done in a timely manner. So he was able to come out there, take a look. And he said he was gonna knock it out for me. So. Thank you, Mr. Duncan, and I really appreciate you guys. Um, so also while I was doing that, I ended up getting a call from the real, a realtor that I work with, um, um, Pinnacle Realty Company out of Prattville. So I do work with them all the time. Um, the realtor called me, was like, hey, I got a house that needs to be cleaned out. Normally when um, I do their clean outs, I mean, they're very light, they're very easy, nothing, nothing major. But she was like, this one is different. <laughs> Whoever the tenant was, they decided to trash the house. I mean, there was dog poop on the ground. It was, it was a mess. So I knew I was, I was already overwhelmed, so I wasn't gonna be able to do handle anything like that anytime soon. So I was able to refer her to um, a good guy, Jacoby Smith with Jaws World LLC. I met um, Jacoby a few months ago um, when I posted an ad about getting help. We started talking and he was saying he was doing the, he started junk removal and I was just giving him, you know, give him a little game that I've learned over my process of building curbside appeal just to help him build his his business up and I've been able to kind of defer some business to him and we've been working great together so thank you um Jacoby for stepping in for me and taking over that job and um just just being a great guy too um great company does great work so definitely if you can't hit curbside appeal Hit my two guys up, Treasure Junk, Mr. Willie Duncan, and Jacoby Smith with Jaws World LLC. I'll be putting their info in this link uh, in this video. So definitely, I just wanted to give you guys a huge shout out in addition to my boys, Red, Jarrell, and Caleb for helping me even put a dent in the work that we did do, even though we didn't finish it, but we put a major dent. So thank you guys for helping me out and building this team. So. After today, I got one little small job. I'm gonna knock out and I'm gonna take a week break. I'm just chilling. So until then, peace.